Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chiton. So today we'll be looking at the menstrual cycle. We'll be looking at the menstrual cycle and the different phases of the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is defined as a series of naturally occurring events or cyclic changes in the ovary and also in the uterus of the female which results in the shedding of the endometrial lining of the uterus in every month. So, the menstrual cycle results to the shedding of the endometrial lining of the uterus in every month. And this uh, manifests as menstruation. In other ways, the physical manifestation of the menstrual cycle at the end of the month is menstruation, which is the flow of blood through the through the vaginal canal. So, talking about the endometrial lining of the uterus, the uterus has three walls. The outermost wall, which is the perimetrium. Then we have the the middle muscular wall, which is the myometrium. And you can see it contains some blood vessels. Then we have the innermost wall, which is the endometrium. So the epithelial lining and also the uterine gland is found in the endometrium. And as well, uh, some blood vessels are found in the endometrium of the, of the uterus. So the shedding of this endometrium the shedding of this endometrium is what menstruation is all about. So, the menstrual cycle is a series of naturally occurring events that result in the shedding of the endometrial lining of the uterus. So, the endometrium of the uterus is further divided into three layers. We have the innermost layer, which is the stratum compactum. We have the middle layer, which is two, which is the stratum spongiosum. And we have the outermost layer, which is the stratum basal. So it is the stratum compactum and the stratum spongiosum that normally shows off every month, which manifests as menstruation. So let's go further. The onset or the first menstrual cycle of the female is known as menarche. Is known as menarche. And also, the, um, the productive ages of the female is from puberty, which is age 11, 12, to age 45, 50, 55, depending on individual. And this results in a condition the end of the reproductive age results to a condition known as menopause. So that is to say that menopause is the, is the stage in the female that um, is caused by a decline in the reproductive hormones. So once the reproductive hormones begin to decline in the female, it results or it is known as the menopause. It is known as the menopause. So, the onset of the first menstrual cycle in the female is known as menarche. And also, menopause is the stage in the female uh, reproductive life or in the female life where there is a decline in the reproductive hormone, thereby resulting in a decline in the menstrual cycle and finally stop, stoppage of the menstrual cycle. So, the menstrual cycle here, remember in the decision of the menstrual cycle, I told us that it occurred both in the ovary and also the uterus. So, the menstrual cycle is divided into two. We have the ovarian cycle and we have the uterine cycle. Both the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle occur simultaneously. It occurs concurrently. At the same time, this one, this cycle is happening at the uterus. 
why this is happening in the evening at the same time and the same days of the month. So they occur concurrently. And in the ovarian cycle, we have the three stages or three phases, which is the follicular phase, the ovulation, and the luteal phase. Then in the uterine cycle, we have the proliferative phase, we have the secretory phase, and we have the menstrual phase. So the follicular phase is defined as the phase where the follicles in the ovary begin to undergo maturation. Remember that when we treated ogenesis, we discussed that the follicles, the ovarian follicles in the ovary, in the cortex of the ovary, we are formed during fertile life, but by puberty, they begin to undergo maturation. You remember, they begin to undergo maturation. So in the follicular phase now, the ovarian follicle begin to undergo maturation and they begin to develop rather. And about five to ten undergo maturation. Only one or two eventually mature and is is shed off. Then the follicular phase is influenced by the follicle stimulating hormone. Now what happens is that the hypothalamus secretes gonadotropy uh, releasing the mole. Then this gonadotropic releasing the mole goes to the anterior pituitary gland and causes the anterior pituitary gland to secrete gonadotrops or the gonadotropic hormone, which is the follicle stimulating hormone and the utilizing hormone. And this hormone play part in the ovarian cycle. So the follicle stimulating the mole now go to the ovary and stimulates the maturation of the ovarian follicle. About five to thirty that undergo maturation and stimulate the uh, maturation of the ovarian follicle. And as it causes the maturation of the ovarian follicle, the ovary releases estrogen, which acts in the uterus at the same time, but we will come to that. So that is what happened in the follicular phase. And the follicular phase lasts from day 4 to day 14. Then let's move to the ovulation. Ovulation happened at day 14. Ovulation simply means the shedding of the rupture of the ovarian follicle. You remember the ovarian follicle, one or two that mature that got matured, it's now ruptured. And once it's ruptured, it's the ovum that lies inside the ovarian follicle is being shed off. So once it's matured, the ovarian follicle ruptures and the ovum finds its way out of the ovarian follicle and gets into the fimbricated part of the uterine tube. In the fimbricated part of the uterine tube, it travels for three days to the site of uh, fertilization and the site of fertilization is the largest and the widest part of the uterine tube, which is the amplia. It is the site of fertilization that is where it will sit and wait for a sperm to fertilize it. So, ovulation simply means the shedding off of the ovum inside the ovarian follicle, and it happens at day 14. Then, this ovulation is influenced by the retinizing hormone through a process known as MH surge. So the retinizing hormone causes the causes ovulation to take place. Then the final stage or the final phase in the ovarian cycle is the luteal phase. What happened in the luteal phase is that you remember the ovarian follicle that has been ruptured. Now the ovarian follicle that has been ruptured, because it is ruptured at that time, it becomes kind of flaccid. The cells, the follicular cells, begin to proliferate and also enlarge. And as they enlarge, some yellow pigments begin to fill in the cytoplasm of the follicular cell. Because of that, they appear yellowish in color, and they are now called yellow cell, which is the same thing as the luteal cell. So, in the luteal phase now, purpose luteal is formed. 
because a yellow cell called the luteal cell are formed as a result of the yellow pigmentation of the cytoplasm. So now the copious luteal secretes progesterone. It secretes progesterone if the pregnancy does not occur. It secretes progesterone that way come and act in the uterine cycle for the next 14 days. Eh? But if pregnancy occurs, the progesterone lasts for three to four months to maintain the pregnancy. So the neutral phase starts from day 15 at the 15th day and ends at the 28th day. So what happens here is that the purpose neutral degenerates if pregnancy does not occur. It degenerates into a fibrous connective tissue known as the corpus albicans. The corpus albican. So that is it. Then this is what happened in the luteal phase. Then let's see the uterine cycle. The uterine cycle, we have the proliferative phase, the secretory phase, and the menstrual phase. Now the proliferative phase starts from day four and ends at day 13. Now what happened in the proliferative phase? is after the last menstruation of menstrual fluid, the one of the uterus, the only material on the shoulder. Now in the proliferative phase, this starts from the four. The one of the uterus begin to grow back. They begin to increase in thickness. During menstrual phase, when the one on the mutual one is shed off, the one of the uterus is one MMT. But in the proliferative phase, it's beginning to get thick, two to three mm thick. And it is not just that, the uterine glands, you can see the uterine gland begin to grow also. And also the, the arteries begin to grow also. So in the proliferative phase, everything begins to grow. And the proliferative phase is influenced by the action of the estrogen that was secreted during this phase, follicular phase, in the ovarian follicle. So the estrogen influences the the action, the uh, activity that happens in the proliferative phase. So estrogen is responsible for the growth of the uterine gland, the uterine wall, the uterine artery, and the rest of them. Then the second one we have is the secretory phase. The secretory phase. What happens here is that the progesterone that was secreted by the luteal cells come to act on the wall of the uterus and it makes the wall of the uterus to be to be edematious. The wall of the uterus it did not just enlarge, it enlarged about five to seven and then in thickness, and also it becomes edematious, that is become it becomes very, very soft. And also the uterine glands begin to secrete fluid. That is the work of the uterine gland. And this happens at the secretory phase. It begins to secrete fluid. And it is this fluid that makes this wall to be, to be very soft. And the essence of the wall of the uterus becoming soft is perhaps if fertilization happens so that the wall will be very soft for implantation to take place and also if fertilization did not happen so that it will be easier for the world to be shed off so that is the essence of the secretory phase and it is under the action of progesterone that this happened and the secretory phase starts from day 20 after ovulation must have taken place it starts from day 20 and ends at day 28 day then we come to the final phase, which is the menstrual phase. The menstrual phase ends this menstrual cycle. So the menstrual phase is the phase where the wall of the uterus is being shed off. So because of decline in both the estrogen and progesterone acting on the wall of the uterus. Because of this decline, the wall of the uterus begins to shed off bit by bit. 
And as this is happening, the uterine artery also is being shed off. So that is the essence of the blood, or that is where the blood that is being passed during the ovulation comes from. Because as the one is shed off, the uterine artery is also shed off. And um, as the one well, is being shed off, the blood and, and every, every other thing that uh, following menstrual flow is being passed out through the vagina canal. And the menstrual phase uh, starts from day one and ends at the first day. So that is it for menstrual cycle. So you can see that both the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle happen concurrently. They happen concurrently within a month. And menstruation ends the menstrual cycle. So, menstrual cycle in essence, or the physical manifestation of the menstrual cycle is menstruation. So, let me do a recap before I conclude. I said that the menstrual cycle is a series of naturally occurring events or cyclic changes in the ovary and also in the uterus of the female, which results in the shedding off of the endometrium of the uterus. In every month. And I told us that the menstrual cycle is divided into the ovarian cycle and uterine cycle. You can see that these cycles occur concurrently. The ovarian cycle includes the follicular phase, the ovulation, and the retreat phase. The uterine cycle includes the proliferative phase, the secretory phase, and the menstrual phase. So it is not difficult to understand. So I've come to the end of this teaching. I will encourage you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, learn the Chisholm grades, try as much as possible to like this video, comment on this video, and also share this video to your friends. Thank you very much.